Sneaky Down Under uh, is really truly a unique um, facility. Um, some people call us a zoo, but we're really not because we incorporate a lot of uh, elements uh, that are totally unzoo-like. Uh, we have cultural programs um, about Australia, uh, but we do have animals and we do incorporate a lot of hands-on activities with our animals. And of course, we have a cave tour as well. So it's a unique, uh, kind of multifaceted attraction. Kentucky Down Under is a, is a family-themed park which is wonderful for children and families alike to, to view some of the Australian animals. We have many species including emu, swans, black swans, wallabies, red kangaroos, eastern grey kangaroo, western grey kangaroo um, and some albino Bennett's wallabies also. But we also have, other than marsupials, we have reptiles, we have a dingo, a singing dog and of course our sheep and many, many Australian birds. The wonderful thing about Kentucky Down Under is the interaction that uh, the families can have with a lot of the animals. We have tours that uh, are guided by the guides um, and the people can actually pet certain animals which gives them a great opportunity to understand the actual coverage of an animal and how important that is to their environment. Kentucky Down Under really appeals to families um, with children because I've heard people say that we're able to get the adrenaline running uh, in a situation where the whole family is participating in something, perhaps something new, something that they haven't ever done before. Um, in the, for instance, in the wool shed where they do cow milking and bottle feeding lambs, you may have a grandparent along who remembers milking the cow and they are just so excited that their grandkids can get to experience that or hear who's petted a kangaroo before. Not many people have and that does, uh, it's just a, an all around good thing to bring a family together and experience something they've never experienced before. The very positive aspect of having these animals in captivity is that they're well cared for, well looked after and have all the necessary requirements for a good existence, whereas of course the animals in the wild don't always receive that. Another positive aspect of having these animals in captivity where people can actually see them is the fact that they are able to grow to their extended age. Um, for example, a, can a big red kangaroo may grow in a captivity up to about 18 years, whereas that's going to be very rare to see in Australia. The incredible thing about marsupials that make them so unique uh, compared to other animals in the world is the fact that they have a pouch. The, the little joey is born the size of a jelly bean. It crawls unaided to the mother's pouch and attaches to a teat. So it actually develops in the pouch rather than develops in a womb. And interestingly, the little jelly bean will be on one teat, receiving a certain type of milk. And the little joey that's at foot, which is out of the pouch but still reliant on milk from its mother, will be on the other teat with a totally different composition of milk. So this is what, this is what makes our kangaroos so, and our marsupials so totally unique to other animals in the world. A normal day for kangaroos will be to get up very early in the morning when the sun has just arisen and they will feed on their grasses for a while and of course their supplementary diet. And then at around 10 o'clock when the sun gets a bit hot, they'll just all laze around and sleep for about, uh, up until about two or three in the afternoon, which gives our, our guests a prime opportunity to be able to touch them because they're relaxed and they're laying down. And then they'll get up in the late afternoon and start grazing again. Um, and interestingly, during the night around the same time, they lay down and have a rest. We don't guarantee uh, that every animal will be petted. However, we do guarantee that everybody that's coming into the park, if they would like to interact with animals, will be able to. Of course, they are, um, in this area that we're in right now, they are wild animals, and we have to respect that fact. And if they've had enough or they're not in the mood for it, we don't push it. But um, there is interaction guaranteed for everybody at, at some location throughout the park, yes. Uh, I would say the kangaroos are, are really a favorite. 
particularly uh, if the kangaroos have joeys in the pouch or we have staff that are hand raising uh, joeys, which we have right now. So if, they, if they're lucky enough to experience the hand raised joeys, they really, really love that. It's hard to describe the feeling of watching a child uh, do or experience something that they've never done before or never seen before or never even thought about before. Where does milk come from? Of course it comes from the grocery store, from a bottle. No, actually it comes from a cow. And watching the child's face light up as they actually recognize that that's where milk comes from is just uh, an incredibly special feeling. And then every area of the park has its own uh, you know, example of just that.